Hi, hi. Today we're looking at Keys to the City by the Go Team. Uh, if you've never heard of the Go Team before, please just let your imagination run wild and come up with your um, most amazing fantasy of what a band called the Go Team would sound like. Uh, if you need a hint, you can you can look at this cover art. Uh, and yeah, it actually sounds exactly like that. Uh, I'd say there's two major modes uh, that they do songs in. First one is kind of the, the cheerleader superhero type chant, um, which is normally delivered by Ninja, their, their rapper. Um, and it's like, like I said, it, it has the, the, the feeling of super or, or cheerleaders rehearsing and chanting and, and performing at games. Um, but then also kind of like a superhero theme song um, where you feel like they're on the verge of transforming and, and fighting some gigantic monster. Um, the other mode that their songs are often in I would call like Peanuts Melancholy. Uh, like if you watch those old Peanut cartoons, um, just the sort of sad lo-fi feeling they have. Um, they're like very down to earth and, and childlike, but they really tap into uh, kind of a sad feeling that um, can persist much, much longer than that. Um, you know, the kind of feeling you get when it's summer vacation and you know that the days are numbered before you get back to school. Um, and, but you know that your summer vacations are, are even more numbered and even more precious. Um, and, and just kind of feeling that time slip away from you. But at the same time, knowing that uh, the time you're spending now is, I don't know, it's not the end all be all. You're just kind of bored and bumming around. And I don't know, it's, it's like a very precious emotion. Um, one with uh, both happiness and sadness and, and just kind of a warmth mixed up in it. Um, and most of their songs are in either one of those modes. Uh, but this is a rare example of both. Uh, they actually just do both on this one and it's it's genius and beautiful. Um, the the We Are The Hardcore Jumpers and We Never Fail. <laughs> this of course is the, the first mode, the, the cheerleader slash superhero squad type thing. Um, I'm not really sure what it's about that they're the hardcore jumpers. Um, if we kind of take the plot of them being uh, cheerleaders, I guess this is maybe an anthem for their team. Um, these songs are immediately accessible and catchy, but for me it's like the small details within it uh, that just kind of keep me coming back and, and keep it sounding fresh even when it's like totally uh, stuck in my head and I just have to listen to it over and over again. Um, so there's, there's <laughs> I think the hey here, we jump on, hey, no matter what mood we're in. The way uh, she just kind of like barks out this quick hey um, and it sounds almost like it's like an ad lib or, or like a, a sound effect that they do during their performances for like all manner of reasons and they they know they can just kind of like fit in one um during this line Ooh, also at the start i almost forgot to mention this uh she counts it in with the six i think it's just five six seven and it has this like attitude that's just dripping with this easygoing confidence um that you you know that there's like all of this rehearsal tied up in this um, that they, they must have performed their hardcore jumping song like millions of times before and they know it like the back of their hand. Um, that the hey almost feels like an addition that, that once they've become so confident, they just kind of start throwing things like that in. Um, right after this verse, the trumpet comes in. This is another hallmark of the Go team. They have these amazing, like really riffy trumpet solos. Um, and you can hear... Uh, the, the cheerleader vocalists like cheering and applauding and, and shouting over top of the trumpet at the start. And it's like they're celebrating the fact that it turned out well and that the trumpet came in and that it, it has this like amazing celebratory feeling where like suddenly the camera zooms out and, and what you thought was just like a small performance was actually just this like huge crowd, this huge orchestra, this parade almost. It's just, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so great. <laughs> it's so infectious, this this triumph that they're they're able to celebrate the performance of the song during the performance. Um, and then, kind of like, once that's just barely dying down, uh, they bring in um, the, the Japanese singer, who's on this too, that, that often sends the, the more kind of melancholy, wistful parts. Um, 
They, they don't even have the lyrics on here? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I can't really make out what she's saying. It has, again, this like very kind of lo-fi, um, nostalgic quality to it. It could be in Japanese, for all I know. She does sing in Japanese quite often, too. Um, and and it's it's sort of, like, obliterated, I guess, by the other part. Um, and you would think that that kind of conflict would diminish uh, the effect it has, maybe. But it, it almost... It, it just sort of makes it feel like the picture is growing bigger and bigger and bigger. That while this whole celebration is going on, someone in the crowd watching is just sort of singing this to herself and, and having this little moment of of perspective uh, where she realizes that, um, I don't know, like maybe this won't last or, or maybe that these are really the good days or something. Like she, she's having that sort of premonition of nostalgia. I don't know, man. It's, it's great. It's so great. Um, the, the flow and the rhythm that they bring out in, in the, uh, the verses, the cheerleader type verses is so cool too. Just the small ways that they mix it up and sort of play with your expectations. Um, the, the instrumentals and stuff too, of course, crazy. Like the trumpet really steals the show. And at the end when they start singing over top of the trumpet rather than kind of taking turns with it is just it's so glorious and triumphant. But the drumming too is crazy and the guitar riff that sort of comes in and out throughout it. I don't know, it's, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. I love this line too. You know you get out what you put in. Um, <laughs> Just this idea that no matter what mood they're in, they still celebrate, they still perform, they still go out there and, and jump um, is, is really infectious. And you can tell that the energy that they're all putting into this song um, and all of the practice and, and all of this amazing songwriting is they're getting out the same energy. They're, they're getting out what they put in. It's, the proof is in the song itself. It's fantastic. Um, this whole album is great. This again is like very um, emblematic of it, um, but you'll you'll see when you listen to it that it it like alternates quite a bit between these kind of two modes, and and very rarely does it actually like synthesize like this. Oh, oh it's so good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have much else to say to it. You should check it out. Just look at that wolf. Oh my god, what a great album cover. <laughs> all right, that's all for now.